Maybe they're gonna head uh, uh, when the school, school year is up. Yep, so June. My daughter gets out of school June 3rd, so it'll be June 3rd. Um, Paul McGlure seems kind of like a natural leader type, big personality. Have you mm -hmm. noticed that being around yeah. here? Yeah. Uh, I, you know, it's hard to tell right now, you know, because it's spring, so we're getting, uh, he's getting reps, but, you know, we're getting, uh, to me, he's not the only guy that we have that can lead, so. Okay. He's we, a guy, he's who, one of them. he used to be a safety, right? And now he's more of a linebacker, but the, the line between safety and linebacker is kind of blurred in recent years with guys like Dion Buchanan and some others. Is Paul's versatility something that can be an asset for the defense? It helps him out, yeah, because uh, he's a guy that's used to being in space, and now with the game being, uh, you know, as far as the spread offenses, he can help us out down there as far as uh, playing in space and, uh, you know, with his drops and everything. With him knowing what's going on behind him and knowing what the guys are doing behind him, it uh, helps him out a lot yeah, at linebacker. Have you noticed an improvement from the defense overall that you were expecting this spring? I would say, I would say yes. You know, uh, tackling, understanding our system. You know, and it's it's hard to tell. You know how good they really are. You, uh, you know, until you actually play a game against a, you know opponent. So, you know, they're playing hard. They're getting better. Uh, you know, they work hard every day. They watch film, they're doing everything we ask them to do, and they care. Has practice care gone smoother as the spring's gone on too with them adjusting all the new coaches on the defensive side? Practice has gone a lot better for us all. Uh, you know, I know where the, you know, where drills are, and you know, they have a feel for what I want and what the staff wants and what, uh, e what each individual coach wants from that group. And so, uh, because we have that, that, uh, that time that we spend together and uh, you know we're going on you know our last week then it 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 feels you know a lot like we're a team now you know we're a team what have you seen out of Kahi Nevis so far he's athletic he can run uh he's still learning a little bit you know for a guy that should that could still be in high school you know he's a guy that uh you can tell that as the game kind of goes and it goes fast you know, there's times that he can get lost a little bit, but with his uh, athleticism, you know, he'll he'll start to get sooner or later. The game will start to slow down for him, and now it will be less thinking and more of him just playing, playing football. The fact that he was a quarterback also in high school does that help him, or does that <coughs> hinder him because maybe he wasn't devoting all of his? I don't think time it matters. You know, I don't think it matters. You know, when you, I mean, when you're playing on a certain side of the ball and you're playing. You know, you're playing that position. I think you focus on that position. I don't know how much you really, how much that helps him being, you know, an offensive quarterback, or being a guy on offense. You know, he's trying to learn the system. He's trying to learn his job. And he's trying to, uh, uh, he's trying to make plays. You have a pretty good idea of who's going to be in the DD rotation right now, or are you guys kind of holding your breath I have, until summer comes? We have no idea. You know, everything starts with Coach Rod, and his thing is, there's no starters on this team. And I, I mean. I'm 100% behind him on that. You don't want guys to feel like they arrived or they're there. You know, you want them to, to continue to work during, you know, during spring. Uh, and and then once we get to fall camp, now we're going to see, okay, who's going to have their game, you know, at the highest that we can have them play. You know, so I don't know who the starters are. Hopefully we'll know, or see I want to say, hopefully we'll know before we play our first game. Who's an underrated, uh, under the radar guy in your linebacker room who's maybe kind of surprised you or something? To there are none, no under no. under the radar. I mean, to me, when you're playing in the Pac-12, you aren't under the radar. You know, you come here to play play ball. I mean, you're playing against, uh, you're playing in one of the best conferences in the country. So, to me, our radar should be the highest in the country. You know, so there is no under the radar, guys. Marjorie Cobb is a guy that gets talked about a lot. Mm -hmm. How did he do as coming in? How did he do this spring? He's doing okay. He's getting better. The same thing. He's learning what what we want as a coaching staff. Uh, you know, he comes in every day and and, and and works. You know, I think he's getting himself in uh, in better shape. You know, I think he understands the system. You know, so he's a guy that I think as time kind of as time kind of goes, he's getting better and better.